Hi everyone, this is Guy H from Moai Channel. Today we are talking about smoking beef back ribs. For this smoking, I used a typical off-the-shelf barbecue sauce, which is diluted with 50% water to thin out the sauce as it reduces or slows down the caramelization and burning. Applying the sauce can be done using a typical food brush or a spoon. So folks, today we have a special guest with us, our cat Luna. FYI, she has never done this and this is her very first time. Hey Luna, what do you think girl? Please don't touch it. Thank you. No Luna. <laughs> She's really getting stuck in. Oh yes. Hey Luna, you got some of the sauce on your nose, what are you doing? There isn't anything on planet Earth that is like using an offset smoker to create mouth-watering barbecue meals. The combination of smoke and fire that combines to create such delectable morsels of food. Starting off, place your wood with some fire lighters to get the fire going. It takes about 30 minutes in getting the correct temperature. The design of an offset smoker makes it easy to stoke the wood and coals while adding more fuel without opening the cooking chamber. If you find satisfaction in mastering a live fire and are cooking for the experience, you'll love running an offset smoker. During this cook, you will use approximately two pounds of hard wood with one pound of charcoal. Low and slow is the best way to go when making smoked beef back ribs. Once you get your grill up and smoking, place the ribs near the chimney. The ribs are sprinkled with coarse ground black pepper, which enhances the meat flavor. Top tip, you do not need to make your own sauce or purchase a specific type of sauce. Just use your favorite sauce from your regular store. Beef back ribs are rich in fat and flavor, which are perfect for barbecue smoking. Beef back ribs might not be the first type of smoked ribs you think of when planning a barbecue, but once you give these a try, you'll never look back. Served fresh off the smoker, these beef back ribs are as tender and juicy as any other cut of barbecued meat. Best of all, they're easy to smoke. As the name might suggest, beef back ribs come from the rib primal region of the cow, specifically closer to the spine. They're not to be confused with beef short ribs, which are from further down the rib cage and carry more meat. Beef back ribs come from the same primal cut of prime rib and ribeye steak. Beef back ribs have the same intense and delicious flavor as these two popular cuts, except in rib form. It will take approximately five to six hours to cook between 225 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit with an internal meat temperature of 200 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Time will vary depending on meat thickness and your smoker's heat retention. Always use a smoker thermometer to read your meat's doneness accurately. I use a digital thermometer that has two prongs, giving me the ability to monitor both the barbecue and the food temperature at the same time. 
the thermometer includes grill clips that you place on the rack to keep the probe in place during the entire cook. Top tip, no peaking, get these ribs on the smoker and let them roll for at least 4 hours at a temperature range of 225 to 250 Fahrenheit before you open up the lid and check your ribs. No peaking, but by the way they do look damn delicious I have to say. Reason why there's no peaking, it's because when you open the lid the temperature and smoke instantaneously disappear and will take time to build back up to the correct temperature. But my word, they do look delicious. Now it's time to increase the temperature to be between 250 degrees and 275 Fahrenheit for the fifth and final hour. If your smoker temperature goes higher than these temperatures, all you need to do is open the firebox until the thermometer temperature reduces to be back in line with the midpoint of the range. Wow, those ribs look delicious. My mouth is watering. I cannot wait to eat them. Once you take the ribs off the smoke, let them rest for around 30 minutes. This is a good time to add additional barbecue sauce on the ribs to make sure that they don't dry out. Remember, beef ribs are safe to eat when they reach an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit, but they will be tough. Smoking them to reach 203 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit allows the fat and collagen within the meat to render, giving you a more mouth-watering tender slab of ribs. Guys, hope you have enjoyed the making of these ribs. Please leave a comment on the ribs that you've done, share your experience, like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.